So welcome back to Scratch Pizza Dough Part 4. This is where it starts to get a little bit more fun. So we've let our pizza dough now sit for about four hours. Now again, you could have, have, have this in the fridge for a day, two days, three days, four days, five days, and it will do essentially the same thing, just slower, okay? So what we're gonna do here is pull out one of these doughs. Just separate them. I'm gonna pull this up. And just lay it down like this. So this is your nice, pretty pizza dough. You don't want to use a ton of flour. Check it out. And so this is gonna be a relatively small pizza. But if you're doing, you know, it, it just all depends on how, how you scale your dough and what works for you, okay? Notice I'm working from the inside out. You can kind of turn and stretch. So where the crust is a little bit thicker, you can stretch. Let me take it and stretch it just a little bit more like so and notice how easy it is to work a dough like this because of that nice gluten structure that we have right so now we have a, a wooden pizza peel and what I've done is I've put uh, uh, semolina all over it so semolina acts like marbles okay marble so you can slide the pizza okay so now we take this nice pizza dough we have our little rim right here right just kind of keeping that rim nice and then we're gonna take some olive oil the olive oil is kind of like plastic wrap for the sauce layer and what I mean by that is when we put when we put olive oil in the dough it kind of seals instead of having that that wet sauce just soak into the dough okay so this actually is homemade sauce from my garden from growing tomatoes this summer so I decided to make pizza sauce with it but at Cisco we have a great pizza sauce Arizio pizza sauce with cheese and that is one I would recommend for you it would be a little bit thicker than this it actually has some cheese and some basil in it it's a it's a very good product. That's the one I reach for when I don't have homemade that I need to use. Excellent. So then we have some cheese. This is some shredded mozzarella. Okay. Shredded mozzarella. I like to put that down as a nice little base. And then we're going to take some fresh mozzarella sliced and so to kind of cut down cost we've used two different types of cheeses here this one when it's done you'll know that you'll see spots of it shows fresh mozzarella we need to cover whole pizza in fresh mozzarella and spend a whole bunch of money remember as far as pizza goes the money is in what the cheese that's where the money's at okay so I'm from New Jersey we use uh, Italian seasoning on pizza I'm gonna come back also with a little bit of fresh basil and what I like to do with basil is I like to uh, take it when it's fresh and I'll, I'll actually freeze it uh, and then as I make pizzas I take it out of the freezer crumble and set on the pizza it's really fast that way it tends not to burn as much okay especially if before you freeze it you kind of dip it in a little bit of olive oil um, really works pretty cool and you never waste basil I hate seeing basil just you know after a couple days it turns bad so if you get a little long on fresh basil and you want to do something with it throw it in the freezer it freezes well and it shatters and you can crumble it really easy and there's not a lot of work it's actually kind of fun to work with it that way good for pastas and other things as well um, so I'm gonna go get some fresh basil or frozen basil 
put it on top, and then we're going to actually cook this sucker in, the, in uh, my wood-fired pizza oven at 1,000 degrees. Okay, so we are at my wood-fired pizza oven in the backyard, and we are going to check it out. We definitely want to see flames. It's registering a little over a thousand degrees, and we've taken a little bit of uh, frozen basil, put it on top, a little tiny bit of olive oil, and we're going to slide this sucker in. So you see a little bit of the semolina that's kind of smoldering there a bit. That's all that really is. And you can start to see the oven spring. So you're actually seeing the pizza puff a little bit. And what that is, is that's a little bit of air, not air, um, water in the high hydration dough that's kind of pushing the sucker up, okay? It's creating a little bit of steam and it's pushing on the layer of gluten and kind of making it uh, puff. We call that oven spring and baking. So you can see at a thousand degrees, it is really cooking well. Whenever you cook in a wood-fired oven, you definitely want to have fire going. Fire prevents uh, burning of the cheese uh, too fast. Okay. And then once we start to start to see some action, we're going to move it around a little bit because we have the fire to one side so that way we get e a little bit more even cooking going on beautiful stuff I think there's a little boy that's going to be happy tonight when he sees this one of his favorite foods the kid does not like pizza and the price on pizza is so inexpensive. I mean, think about it. You have a dough that hardly costs anything. You know, when you make the dough and you take the time to do that, as long as you have the time and the employees to do it, you're looking at a dollar, maybe less than a dollar a crust. And that's for using the best flour. Using good cheese, you definitely don't want to skimp on the cheese, okay? But even using the best cheese, you're not putting so much on. There's only so much real estate on a pizza. And to do a, a real pizza, you really, it's not all about the cheese. It's more of an American thing. Um, sauce, you want a decent sauce, but you're not putting a ton of sauce on there. So going crazy and spending way too much money on a pizza sauce, or just worry, worry, worrying about it. You know, there's a lot of good sauces pre made out there. But you can add one or two ingredients to and make it your own that can then become your signature sauce so once we start seeing bubbling we know we're getting there and we're almost done okay uh, one thing is this, if you have older cheese cheese has an age to it okay if you have older cheese what's going to happen with older cheese is it's going to tend to burn on top so as cheese goes through its natural process, as it's a living, breathing thing, what's going to happen is the cheese is going to dry out. So if you have some older cheese, before you put the pizza in there, spray with some water on top, okay? You get part of the way through, spray with some water, throw it, just throw it right back in, and that will combat having burnt top. You know, the, having a burnt top to your pizza is just no fun either. But having a, a doughy, doughy crust. So here you go. Homemade pizza from scratch. You can do it. If you're using a convection oven, cook it on a pizza stone. As high as your oven will go. Okay. And it will work as well. Stop opening up the door every five minutes and looking at it, okay? Do spin it a little bit, um, but you can do it in a, in a convection oven as well. No problem. Excellent. Enjoy. Let me know how your pizza came out. Send me some pictures. Thank you.
Look at this pizza. I knew the beagle was going to become pizza. It always does. This is my dinner. Dad, don't touch my pizza. 